couple of days ago before recording this video I posted a quick short video on my Instagram and YouTube community tab about the wireless decks just to see what kind of comments I will get. Some of you mentioned that I'm using a very clever cable management others went straight away to a point and said that I'm using a wireless HDMI setup with a transmitting receiver. In this video I will show you how this is possible. What you see in front of you is my monitor, keyboard and a mouse and DeX is being powered by Galaxy Tab S6 which basically is nothing special here. But wait a minute, let me show you where my Galaxy Tablet is. It's inside the briefcase and this small dongle allows me to use Samsung DeX wirelessly. So let's start talking about this device. First thing, let me find where the box of this device is. The USB-C hub that I'm using is called Mokin USB-C hub with wireless display, transmitter and receiver. This product was a Kickstarter project that I backed it up about four months ago. Their original goal was around 1,200 US dollars, which was a bit of a surprise for me. Why are they asking so less for this kind of project? And they basically got smashed that goal with no problems at all. In total over 1,700 backers and the total money raised is 125,000 US dollars. So I am one of the backers. I backed it up this project. I paid for first tier, which cost me around hundred dollars con converted into British pounds is about 85, I think, or 89. So it is a bit of a pricey, but come on, it is a wireless USB-C hub. Inside the box I received, right, I'm gonna unplug this. So once I unplugged, everything stops for a couple of seconds and this and signal will get lost. So that's, I'm gonna unplug the receiver as well. So inside the box I have um, the USB-C transmitter and the receiver. So two of them, uh, one of each, and they basically make all this magic happen. Other things inside the box, I received USB-C cable from USB-C to USB Type-H for powering the receiver. Receiver requires the power. Transmitter don't need the power. And US power brick, probably. And another cable I have in the box, which is a bit strange, is USB-C to looks like an iOS or Apple device. This is a bit of baffling me why this one in here, unless you are using the uh, genuine Apple wall plug and that only supports the, uh, the Thunderbolt connection or this type of the connection. So I plug this in into a wall and this end of the cable is being used to power the receiver. So I think that's why this cable is included. And pretty much that's it. That's all in a box. Uh, just two cables, power uh, uh, wall brick and the transmitter receiver. Let's talk about transmitter. When I said that transmitter do not require power, it means what I try to say is it, you can't supply the power from outside. What I mean, there is no connection to get the power coming from the wall socket. The transmitter is getting power from the device it's actually connected to. So if I'll connect this to my no, uh, Tab S6, the transmitter will get the power from my Tab S6. If I'll connect this to my Note 9, which is here, I will get the power from Note 9. If I'm connecting this to my tablet, the tablet battery will get depleted slightly faster because it needs to power this device as well. But for example, if I'm gonna connect this to my Note 9, I can actually then put on, a, on the wireless charging pad and my phone is getting charged wirelessly. Same time, I can use the Smokin wireless transmitter. So win-win. The connections, uh, we have two USB 3.0 ports. Uh, we have, hold on. There is a, a short spec on the box. So USB 3.0 ports up to five gigabits per second transfer. And it's, the USB supplies five volts or 0 0.9 amps. Okay. We have SD card, a micro SD card reader. Very good. On the receiver, uh, we have full size HDMI. We have VGA. We have audio jack for audio out. And there is no mic in. And we have a USB-C for power. So great thing on this on this device right a um, couple of things the video signal that is being pushed using this let's call it USB-C hub even if it comes into pieces um, is only 1920 by 1080p resolution at 60 hertz I am using 1440p monitor so the 1080p screen is getting a bit of air stretched out so that's just why the, everything looks so big but if you're using the 1080p monitor with your deck setup is perfect. 
I will not use this with my main sub, but I'm already starting to think how I can get this connected to my TV in the living room downstairs. My TV is only 1080p, it's about four or five years old, but it still does, it still works, it's still showing picture quite well, still good uh, colors and, and I'm not planning to replace it anyway. So I'm planning to get the receiver plugged in behind the telly and the power will be supplied through one of the USB ports that I have on the TV. So this is gonna be tucked in behind the TV and this one just gonna be on the side table next to a couch. And when I need to use DAX, I'm just gonna pick this up, plug it in my phone or tablet, change the HDMI uh, port from one to HDMI two, and boom, I have a DAX working. Another thing, because I have a two USB 3.0 ports, I can use the um, Logitech Wi-Fi Wi wireless Wi-Fi dongle, and I can use my, I think is I have Logitech K480 wireless keyboard with a trackpad, so I can use that. So that's permanently connected here. So when I wanna use DAX on my big TV, just take my phone, plug it in, and boom, I have DAX on my living room, and it's gonna save me having a cables all over the place because my little son is just crawling all over the place now, and I just don't want to have wires and cables everywhere because he's gonna just pull them down straight away. Right, let's get this connected. One more thing, um, on the receiver and the transmitter, there is a button. Uh, on the transmitter, the button acts, if you press it, it acts as a recast or reset. If you press and hold for five seconds, it's gonna go in a pairing mode. If you go press for 10 seconds, it's gonna factory reset the device. On the receiver, the button, if I press for five seconds, it's gonna go in a pairing mode. And that's only one functionality of this button on the receiver, but it's three different uh, press time delays things uh, on the transmitter. Right, let's get everything connected. I have a short HDMI cable going from my monitor, so plug that in, so that's plugged in. And I do have here somewhere USB-C cable already ready for me to get the power in. So once everything plugged in and the TV will detect that HDMI device is connected, it should go into a blue, blue uh, color, I think, just to make sure, bingo, here we go, blue, background and the text should appear on the top right saying that I'm waiting for connection. So bingo and as you can see right now it's, it's just static image. So I'll take my, my transmitter, let's grab my tablet, so I plug it in. So once plugged in, tablet basically is gonna give me a pop-up message saying, oh, HDMI is connected, very good. And as you can see, dot right now flashing at the end of the text. That means that the connection is well, in progress, and boom, here we are. We have DAX wirelessly, magic. Right, okay, uh, one thing, and it's turned off. Okay, let me quickly log in into my tablet. So let's quickly get into my tablet. So we connected, and because I'm using 1080p, this device only exports 1080p. Obviously, like I said, um, everything will get stretched out. So if we go in settings, Samsung DAX, under resolution, I have two options, full HD 1920 by 1080p really recommended, or HD plus, which is 1600 by 900. But like I said, if you're using a 1080p monitor or roughly 16 by nine aspect ratio, it's gonna be looking much better-ish compared to what I'm seeing here on my screen. Right, wireless thing. Mokin on the Kickstarter page, by the way, the link to the Kickstarter page will leave in the description below, but they, claiming on the website that is up to 10 meters works flawlessly. I don't have really uh, here somewhere where I can go and start um, testing this out, but what I can do, I will take my tablet. First of all, let me run a fluid fluid um, app. This, this app I'm using more or sometimes like a, like a screensaver. So I'm gonna leave this running. And what I'll do instead, I'm just gonna go outside my room, outside the place where I'm recording, just keep going backwards, don't fall over my kids' toys. Just keep walking backwards. So I am about, I don't know, four or five meters away. Just keep walk backwards, just keep walk backwards. Okay, I nearly crashed here. So I am, I don't know, seven, seven meters away or so. And it is not really clear line of sight because it needs to go a bit of zigzags. But I hope you can see the way the quality is happening with, with this device and it is wireless. It is wireless. I'm using Samsung DeX wirelessly. I mean, like, really, come on, guys. Unbelievable. I tested this uh, setup with the gaming, so I would like to show you this, that thing now. So what I'm gonna do, 
I'm gonna run a Mobile Legends mobile style game and see how it's performing. So we have the game running, so I'm gonna just quickly create a custom game. I played this game quite a lot for lately on my decks, so I can basically notice straight away when it is a bit of a latency because obviously when I'm using the Samsung decks on this kind of setup, uh, all my setup is actually wired. So right now we're just gonna do a bit of gaming wirelessly. So the, while the game is loading, one thing I would like to show you, that tablet is still connected to a Moken transmitter. So what I'll do, I'm just gonna take them both and put this in the briefcase, close it, lock it down and leave it here at the end of the table. So it's basically inside there just to show that it's definitely happening wirelessly. And the game is loading. The actual device, the receiver gets slightly warm, but not super warm, where transmitter gets slightly more warmer compared to the receiver, but it's, there's nothing major. My phone is and a tablet getting way, way hotter when I'm using DAX, uh, so I'm not really worried about that. They're gonna go uh, burn or something or explode. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, um, Right now I'm using WSD to control the character and I can tell you straight away the input lag or latency between the picture and what I used to get while I playing this game widely uh, with the wires and wirelessly I can't really see a big difference. I mean I can't see any difference at all with my old eyes. It works pretty much the same. Right, okay, uh, so this is the way it's the working with the Mobile Legends. What I'll do now, I'm gonna take the Galaxy Tab S6, disconnect from this device, so I'm gonna disconnect from this transmitter, so I'll, again, after a couple of seconds, the screen will go off, and we're gonna connect my Note 9 instead. So I'm connecting my Note 9. Let's quickly change to a Bluetooth connection 2. So Note 9 right now is gonna be acting as the DeX device, so it's inside there. And here we are, this is my Note 9. The same resolution and etc. cetera I, I, I need to pick. Uh, there is no difference. But this time I'm gonna show you a different game. I will log into Stadia. So we're gonna see how the Stadia or basically cloud gaming performs when, while the DeX is connected wirelessly. So, so let's have a look. Bethesda starting. I don't have, by the way, any audio coming in or going out because I just can't find my speakers. So it is slightly laggy. I think it's because the Note 9 needs to be connected to a slightly faster Wi-Fi. So we're gonna connect to our my 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi instead of using 2.4. So that is connecting, okay. And I think Stadia crashed, or basically lost the connection. So, okay, here we go, Elder Scroll Online. This one's somehow, somehow here, come on, disappear. Okay, game is loading. Let's have a look how this is gonna perform. So, and don't forget, this is wirelessly. This is Note 9 connected to transmitter in the briefcase, and it is basically running. Uh, just for fun, I think what I will do, I'll take the briefcase with the Note 9 and the transmitter. I'm just gonna go walk outside here, and I'm gonna put it somewhere here, which is around three meters away from the receiver and is behind the wall. And right now, my controller have to send the Bluetooth signal to the Note 9 in a briefcase, and then Moken transmitter needs to send everything back. So, come on, loading, 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 loading. Let's actually shut the door as well. Here we go, everything's closed. Okay, so, um, no, thank you. No, uh, my character, I'm playing as the sorcerer. I'm just level four. I just played I'm playing this game for about a week now. I'm just only level four because it's just do half an hour or so not really a big game at the moment So at the mo uh, what I can see from all the way it's been streaming and the quality It is a bit rough a bit edgy just because obviously it's a 1080p output being stretched to 1440p monitor but This thing that I'm using all this wirelessly is still just blows my mind and I, I just I can't, I can't believe it. I was looking for something like this for quite a while now. I found a lot of HDMI transmitters and receivers on Amazon, but they cost quite a lot, three, it, uh, like a free figure price. I mean, you can 250, 300 pounds, and I wasn't really planning to, uh, to, to buy it. So right, uh, input lag 
is because of a Bluetooth. I think it's because of the Bluetooth. So let's, let's check. Yeah, it is the Bluetooth. Can the, blue, the Bluetooth um, controller can really work that far. But anyway, the actual that I'm still getting the image the pushed and sent from my Note 9 here is still an amazing thing because it is wireless. Right, let's bring this thing up. Let's put it next to me. Let's shut the door, let's open up, let's get some fresh air for Note 9. Right, everything is in here. Now, yes, control is working much better now. So the latency or control latency was obviously because of the Bluetooth. So, and I mean, stay there. It's cloud, cloud gaming service and it's working basically on my Note 9, but I'm getting everything pushed wirelessly. And like I said, the transmitter getting a slightly warm, but it's not the big deal. So this is finally here in my hands. I was waiting for about four months. I'm really happy about the product. I can't wait to get this connected to my TV downstairs and start using Samsung DeX wirelessly down there. If you want to see a video about it, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to record it as soon as I can. But that's it, Samsung DeX wirelessly. Okay, USB-C wireless display. Finally, it's here. It cost me about 85, maybe 90 British pounds. It's a bit pricey compared to what other USB-C hubs cost, but because it's so, works like magic, because the wireless, I just really, really happy about this product. I'm really happy about this product. Thank you much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.